Hi, my name is Tom Garner. Welcome back to my class, Painting in the Style of the Venetian Masters. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and stay tuned. So, not to worry about coolness. Coolness is something that's going to work in your favor. At this stage, you, it's, it's time to uh, go back now and start to build up these highlights. So, I, I have some white already mixed in here. I'm just going to mix up another one of my um, flesh tones here. And I'm going to keep it cool. And I'm gonna, this is my vermilion. This is the really expensive stuff. And it just looks beautiful. It's just a beautiful color. And it's cool. And then things will really start warming up. So the first thing I want to do here is I'm going to go in there. And this is also the time to start losing those lines back there. So you're going to have here, it's a little bit too... I'm going to add a little bit more red to that, the uh, beautiful vermilion, and, and then here you can, on your highlights, you can put in a good amount of gel so that you're getting a little bit of buildup here. And then here where it, where, for example, the breast drops off, you just put on less of that. And you can see that as I build this up, I can put an actual, an actual highlight right in there. And I'm completely losing the lines that are down here. So we're looking here, we're gonna be looking all over. I think I I think I'm this is lacking a little bit of red, so I'm adding a little bit more red. This is where you balance things out, because nobody's gonna get it absolutely right. Nobody's gonna nail it right on. You have this is this is the time when we start to build up our colors. They're a little bit thicker now and but too red. So yeah, it really is a question of just going back and forth to find the right, uh, right thing. And then where you're, where you're getting here into these mid shadows, it's really just a question of dropping off, you know, that, uh, not using less color. And because it's dry, I don't have to worry about the thing mixing. And, it's, and it also is making it cooler. And coolness is not a problem because uh, later, when we glaze, that, that coolness will go away. So we're looking for those highlights in here. You can use a, a dragging scumple. So what it basically means that it breaks up the color as you drag it and it lets a little bit of what's underneath come through. And that's really important. You can bring this down go right over, I'm going right over this, and it's still enough because it's just a very slight shadow there. And I drop off, I just use less color over here. Just drag in some of that, yeah, and that, and that, that works just fine. Just naturally putting things over. So, that, so that's pretty good. Maybe I, I think I'm gonna cool that off a little bit by using a little bit of Alizarin crimson over here. Got a little bit too much red there. And I'm just gonna drag right over that. Very softly, drag over. And I'm getting a good sense of depth. And that's not much. You see that? Just light, light, lightened up that a little bit with the arm. Warmed up, or, or, or lightened up my shadows without cooling them off too much. The other things we're going to be doing at this point is you want to come in there and you want to start to uh, you know work on some of the details, you know, little details here and there, get the creases in there. Of course the face, you got a little dark on the face here yeah, so nice. you can light that up using the same technique here. And, uh, and then the same thing in here. So this is a very warm mix. Yellow ochre and cap, and that way I can use that to, uh, to lighten up a little bit. So, and, and, and you know, it's, don't consider what we're doing, you know, what the fix that I'm doing on, on Kay's work here, don't consider that fixing mistakes. 
That's part of building it up. That's what makes it feel rich. And it's going to be a back and forth. I and mean, you don't know how many times I've gone back and forth with this one. You know, almost too much. I mean, you can overwork a painting too. But, uh, but the more you go back and forth, the richer it's become, going to become. So this, don't consider that a mistake. Consider that part of the painting process. Because it's always, you're always going to be pushing a little bit too far this way, a little bit too far this way, and eventually it's going to even out, it's going to look beautiful.